Greetings everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see before you, we're looking at an old grain elevator remain site, it looks like. Possibly, I don't know. We are in the village of Webb, Saskatchewan today, and this will be my first photography related video of the season, I guess. It's been kind of a long day, you'll have to excuse me, I'm kind of exhausted. Had to help my sister with her truck and swift current getting it fixed and uh, long story short the dealership ended up jerking her around and the original estimate of it'll be done at two o'clock turned into it'll be now done at five o'clock so yeah if you want to know why i don't drive dodge anymore that's part of it right there anyhow today's mission is quite simple we're gonna get all my all three of my drones up in the air and we're gonna see how they work after sitting around all winter long and whatnot and uh, yeah I want to get shots of uh, that over there as well maybe get some lightning tonight although I can't promise anything on that nature's been not very good for lightning today or rather the it has been good for lightning today and I think it, they the atmosphere kind of got all the energy sucked out of it so I don't know what's going to happen anymore. I'll just show you what, what's going on if I can. I don't know if you can see this. But uh, yeah, these are the storms that are happening now. You've got this line up here, sort of uh, northwest of where we are right now. And that's kind of where I am, why I'm where I am, am right now, if that makes any sense. Like I said, tired, comma, very. Anyhow. We're gonna try to get lightning if we can, but I can't promise anything because, uh, like I said, nature burned out early. Anyhow, we gotta get started with the drone stuff, so I think I'm gonna run the uh, Mini 3 Pro first because it does the best in the, or does the worst in low light situations. So we're gonna do that now. And uh, I also wanted to show you, I got something new for the uh, Action 3 camera, which is currently around my neck, so you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see it. I got a little windsock on this thing now. So this is going to be a test of that to see if I get any wind noise in the camera or whatnot. Anyhow, I'll show you the uh, village we're in in a second here. I gotta fire up the Mini 3 Pro first. I have no reason to believe that this will not work, so very likely it will. But yeah, I've only got the one battery with me for the Nano Plus, so uh, I'm going to save that for a bit lower light than we've got right now. And I'm not really doing anything special exposure-wise, this is just to see if the, uh, the darn drones work after all this time. I'm going to take her up a little bit, and I'm going to start filming. If I could remember how to do that. It's been so long on this drone. All right. Okay, we're now recording and I should be switching you over to the uh, drone camera in editing so you can see the town and such. I've got one of the long life batteries in here right now. Okay, I'll show you the town first. I'm going to go over to cine mode. But yes, folks, this is Webb, Saskatchewan. I remember when we moved up here in the 80s, there were actually quite a few services still here. At least that's what the highway signs always said. There were gas stations and restaurants and all kinds of stuff here, but uh, now there's basically nothing. There is an old United Church, which is nice. But uh, that church closed years ago. And I'm just slowly panning you around so you can see the town and everything around. I don't think we'll be seeing a train anytime soon because uh, there was one just as I was uh, getting out of the car here. You'll probably have seen that footage at the start of the uh, video. So 
So yeah, we'll have to see if we get any kind of lightning tonight. I kind of have my doubts, but uh, we'll try. You guys know me. If I think I even have a small shot at getting lightning, I will do so. And that's the good thing about being where I am. I'm about 24 kilometers away from Swift Current here, so... Uh, yeah, fairly easy to, to find road options around here. If I have to get to uh, Simi and Admiral, I can. If I have to get to Gull Lake, easy. I'm just right by the Trans-Canada, so easy to get anywhere I need to. And uh, this is an old grain elevator, or the remains of one. I'm not sure how it came to be here. Originally, it would have been on the other side of uh, the road I'm currently standing on. But what most likely happened is it got toppled over when it was being demolished, and part of it just ended up right there. That's uh, this section you see right in the middle of the screen right now. That is if my machine's recording right now. And this over here, this bigger building here, this is an animate Elev it's a tongue twister. It's an it's an elevator annex is what that is. It would have been originally part of a grain elevator. And uh, very much doubt that the uh, railway line would have gone over here. So uh, somebody moved it here. I don't know why. We'll go this way and turn around a bit so you can see where I am. And I want to get shots of this with the light plus, so uh, that'll be coming up next. Okay, now I'll pan up. And there I am, right there. I'm waving at you. So yeah, the grain elevator itself would have been, let's see if I can find it here, probably right there, middle of the screen. That looks like where a foundation used to be. But there would have been several grain elevators in this town back in the day. Just pan up to look at the sky again. Eh, looking not so good. The original forecast today was 25 degrees and we never got that high, so I'm not really expecting too much, like I said. Again, I think uh, nature gave it her all earlier today when we had severe thunderstorm warnings and watches, but uh, you never know, something could happen. That's why I am where I am, as mentioned.
So folks, I'm going to have to apologize here for a second. Apparently the Action 3 wasn't running during that last segment. Basically, I am over here in Gull Lake. I decided to just keep on coming west because uh, I took a look at the forecast models and didn't look like nature was going to do much of anything. So I figured I'll come west. I don't have very good pictures of these grain elevators in this town, so I thought I'd get some shots of that with the Light Plus, and I got those shots, and I was watching some storms to the north that looked like they were doing lightning, and they were kind of at the time, but I didn't see any bolts on camera, and yeah, apparently the Action 3 wasn't running during the entire segment, so I'm going to try to salvage those uh, files if I can, or not files, the footage, that is, from the uh, Light Plus. You'll at least get to see some of it here. And, uh, yeah. Basically, I'm not sure anything's going to happen anymore, so... I figured I might as well start coming this way, a little more towards home, and uh, see what happens. As you can see, it's very windy now, and that's because we are currently... Yeah, just south of those thunderstorms. Point you up out the sunroof here. Yeah, basically they're in the process of gusting themselves out right now, so uh, probably not going to get a lot of lightning out of them anymore. And that's probably going to be the theme for the rest of the evening, so I might be going home real soon, but uh, we're going to camp out here in uh, Gull Lake for a while. I have yet to get the Nano Plus in the air. I'm going to do that as soon as the wind calms down. And maybe once it gets a little darker, because like I said, it does do better in dark conditions than, uh, than the uh, Mini 3 Pro does. So, yeah. Sorry to lose all that footage on you, but it is what it is. Alright folks, just a little bit of another update for you while uh, I'm still waiting for nature to calm down and stop with all the wind. It looks like this storm has picked up a new lease on life and it's giving us a little bit of lightning up there by Highway 32. I have no plans of going up there today because that's kind of a long way to go for uh, something that's likely not going to be there when we get there, but uh, yeah. At this point, most likely I've lost all my chances at doing anything to the east of where I am here. You can see where I am by this uh, dot, I hope you can see that. I'm trying to show you. Anyhow, swift currents over here. And, uh, yes, thank you. I know there's new lightning. I can see it. Well, it's not showing in there yet, but uh, it's showing in Radar Omega here. Anyhow, all of these storms are moving that away to the east. So I've basically lost any chance of uh, doing anything to the east because I would be chasing those storms. And uh, because uh, Environment Canada is predicting this all to clear out overnight, these aren't going to stay much longer. This is all going to go away fairly soon. Possibly, I don't know. Could surprise me, but uh, yeah, the other thing I was, the other place I was thinking of going today was Herbert because uh, I spent part of my life there, but uh, yeah, Herbert's off the table now as well. This is really early in the season though, so uh, I can't be too discouraged here. The main objective today was to help out my sister, and I did that, so... Uh, and we've got a couple more lightning bolts there in Radar Omega. Let's see if the app shows them. Oh yeah, we've got new lightning going. Maybe it'll darken it up enough to uh, actually catch those bolts. They're up by Cabri and Pennant right now takes about half an hour to get there or so so yeah by the time I got up there they would pretty much all be well to the east north of Swift Current or possibly even right at Swift Current assuming the storm even holds up that long at this point I'm not really that interested in trying to chase it anymore so uh, yeah most likely once the weather once the wind dies down a little bit I'll get the light plus back in the air I've got a fresh battery in it right now and yeah, we'll see what happens then. Well, folks, I think I've waited about as long as I want to wait with this. We're going to have to try the uh, Light Plus again and hope it's not too windy for it. Because it's really quite windy right now. Let me face this thing away from the uh, sun here. 
Anyhow, we're about to get some real dramatic shots, I think, if we can actually take off because of all this wind, but uh, the sun's about to come out into the, to the uh, west here and light up the bottom side of these clouds, so uh, maybe we'll get some dramatic shots and maybe we won't. Let's find out. And I can see even the, the light plus is struggling up there. So, uh, trying my best here. That's all I can promise. Currently shooting video, and that storm is doing lightning again. But, uh, given the way this day is going, I'm not really interested in chasing it anymore. It's just going to be too much. I would not be able to chase that as long as I would need to in order to get lightning out of it. There we go. That's a nice shot right there. I think. Might be a little underexposed. But yeah, there we go. I just hope I can land the Light Plus after this. It's doing all right for battery power right now. There's our dramatic shot there. Let me shut off the video for a second here and I'll go to a still mode. Because I want to get a actual photograph of this. All right, rolling video again. I hope I'm catching it. Be better if I could catch some lightning out of that storm too, but uh, I don't want to run the drone up any higher than it is. In fact, I'm going to bring it down some more. But yeah, after I shut this off now, I'm going to wait for the sun to go down, and then if it's not windy enough, we'll bring out the Nano Plus, see how it does. And then I'm going to wait till maybe 10 o'clock or so, and I'm going to see if I can get any lightning whatsoever after dark. It's, like I said numerous times, I think, it's supposed to clear out overnight, so uh, I'm really not expecting much after dark today. It's actually quite amazing we got the uh, severe storms we did get today. Considering we've got forest fire smoke in the air again and uh, all kinds of other nasty crap. And good God is it ever cold now. I've got the drone in smooth mode now. I'm just moving it over to this angle here. It's right above grass in case it crashes. I know exactly where to find it. Now I should mention that we've actually got kind of a, almost a storm forming in this direction to the uh, southeast. I don't know if it'll actually do anything, but uh, that's kind of the one I'm watching for maybe after dark lightning. I don't know if it's going to do anything. These storms have had a real hard time today, so whatever they can give me is appreciated. And oh, we've got a little bit of a rainbow. Let me angle you towards it. I don't know if you can see it at all. I don't know if I'm even pointing at it. Yes, I am. Dead center, if you can see it. I bet you'd like to see the rest of the town, and I'd like to show it to you, but it's just currently too windy. Well, 
Let me go into standard and see if I can get a little closer to the other grain elevator. I wanted to do that too. The drone is still within line of sight, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, we'll hold right there for now. I'm going to shut this uh, recording off in a, for a second, and I'm going to get a few shots here, too. If I can figure out what I'm doing. Alright, we'll go back to video. Come back my way, Mr. Drone. It's too windy for you to be fighting this wind too much longer. Waving at you right now. All right, we'll face this way again. But yeah, it appears that this elevator in the foreground here is up for sale if any of y'all wants to buy an elevator. I don't know if the old trucks and what it not come with it or not, but uh, this elevator appears to have been badly vandalized in the past, so I don't know what's going on with that. I see I'm getting some flickering here. Very likely that is from uh, something still being in auto mode. I'm just playing with the uh, white balance here. Trying to set it manually. And I think that's going to be it for this segment. I am just had it. I have totally had it with this wind. And I think the drone probably has as well. I'll try and bring her in and uh, yeah, maybe I'll get back with you later with the Nano Plus and whatnot, but we'll have to see. All right, folks, last segment of the evening, I think. I am not expecting anything more in the way of storms, so very likely that's done. But uh, we're going to try the uh, Nano Plus real quick here. Very likely it will not be up long because it is still really windy. But uh, I'm determined to get this thing in the air, so let's see if we can get it going. Basically had to sit in the car and uh, charge the uh, the phone using uh, the Mini 3 Pro's sort of uh, battery charger thing. No, no firmware right now, thank you. And uh, yeah, I just had to get the... Uh, the phone a little bit more charged up in order to even use this, but uh, should be alright, I think. Let's see. Just gotta make sure I've got the right settings. I was gonna try for HDR. But I think I'll not bother. All right, drone is online, drone is flying.
drone is filming. And yes, it would appear that the Nano Plus is currently operational. Look at that sunset. But yeah, it's holding itself pretty steady up there, but uh, not extremely steady. And it's getting windy again. Great. Guys, I gotta tell you, I'm about done with today. I'm still gonna stay out until after dark to see if something comes up for lightning, but uh, at this point I'm done filming, I think. Man, that's a nice sunset. Yeah, drone is handling itself. Not super well, but it's handling itself. And there we go, I got both elevators in the shot. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring it in because it's going nuts over there. Yeah, we're done with this. I am not going to ask the Nano to do anything more. Basically had to shut it down in the road here, or land it in the road, because uh, I thought it was going to fall right off the top of the car if I tried to do it there. So let me shut her down. And if I see you guys later, I will see you later. But uh, I'm really thinking that's going to be it for today, guys. So I'm going to try to have this video ready for you on Wednesday. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Because it's been such a god-awful mess of a day, but uh, whatever. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care.